So it seems that October is well and truly the simulation season as we've got two epic simulator games coming out later this month or one's already been out. The one that we're currently playing is called Euro Truck Simulator 2 created by SCS. Guys, these are an epic company and I'd really suggest downloading the demo. There'll be a link down below. It's a, quite a large demo as well. It's a very, very good. It shows off the game and SCS have been doing trucking games for ages. I'm sure most of you guys have played 18 Wheels of Steel. That was an epic game. Good memories from my childhood playing that. So if you are interested in anything like that or if you enjoyed playing those games then definitely give this game a shot. As the name would suggest, we are in Europe. This is the second of the series and boy oh boy is it very very good. If you enjoyed Scania, this uses the same game engine. And uh, yeah, I've been playing this for a couple of days, well not a couple of days, but about a few or so hours. I've been grinding for a long time. We've gone through 13% of the roads, which I'm quite impressed with because say from riding from Aberdeen through to, to Poznan, or Poznan would take about, ooh, I'd say two hours in real life time. That is just how large this game is. It is very breathtaking. It's amazing how large it is. And just the amount of detail that they've put into it is really quite riveting. Very breathtaking how good this game looks. But I'm sure most of you guys are waiting to see how the game actually plays like. So let's go ahead and drive in first person mode as the driver. Uh, what we have taken up now is a quick mission. There's two types of missions. You can have quick missions which both the truck and the trailer are supplied to you and all you have to do is drive from point A to point B. Or you can buy your own trailer. This is a bit later on as you progress through the game. I already do have that. Um, although we haven't accepted that mission just yet. Um, we're not doing that mission yet. This is a quick mission. Uh, because I just wanted to go ahead and drive with a wide load. As you can see we're driving a... This is a special mission. You have special missions for wide loads. So I drive quite shockingly. Uh, but uh, it is a pressurized tank if you can read on our GPS system. Let's go ahead and activate cruise control so I don't have to worry about driving too much. And we're going to Dusseldorf FCP, which is the store that we need to deliver this to. Uh, and we are expecting about 21 grand for the delivery, which is quite a nice amount. Uh, hopefully we won't get any fines along the way, although I've gotten quite a few in my time of driving in this game because I just want to get from point A to point B as quick as I can. Um, and we have 35 hours of time remaining. That's in-game time. And uh, let's go ahead and go back to the map on our GPS system, that is. Uh, and so we have our GPS system, which we can zoom out quite a long ways away. We need to chuck a left over here to this off-ramp, go to Southampton. It is two lane and I do need to concentrate because usually I take these off ramps at some ridiculous speed and I usually flip my truck over which is uh, pretty much like how I play most games like a crazy lunatic having no idea what I'm doing and uh, yeah I drive extremely quickly quite recklessly especially with a massive load like this uh, there's many different loads maybe I should go back to the jobs menu so I can explain a little bit more so this is the quick job both things are hide, or well, you can read this, both things are given to you. Or you can go ahead and uh, use your own equipment and they just provide you with the trailer. Now, this star symbol means it's heavy or oversized. And then you have uh, some special things, ADR class, which means that it's, uh, that it is, uh, so I'm like, well, you have to unlock it, we'll show you a little bit later on. Uh, then we have got lots of, special things and this is just a normal freight delivery which isn't really that amazing uh, but some of the other things are quite amusing we've got lots of pressurized tanks and you also have lots of chemicals that you have to deliver an excavator that looks interesting and we've got a pages and pages full of missions as you can see um, that is basically because if we go back can we look at the skills we have yes we can so this game uses a leveling up system as well. Uh, this is what I was talking about, the SDR-8. You unlock licenses to carry different different uh, things. Well, the words escape me right now, but you have different licenses. You can carry poisons. I don't have that license yet. And you can, uh, once you get enough skill points, you'll be able to unlock different stuff. 
I've gone for long distance because I love driving just from point A to point B over a large expansive difference or uh, distance and you get a lot more points for doing that as well with this um, skill tree upgraded and we've also got high value cargo so that gives us a bit more uh, like it gives us a bit more variety and also a bit more money uh, let's go ahead and get out of here and then we can go through our progress history showing us like how many skill points we've gotten that's a bit too much in depth for right now uh, so let's go ahead and go back to driving have a look at this beautiful scenery so this is early morning it's 4 51 on a thursday and when do we need to deliver this on a friday between 9 50 well you can deliver it earlier as well so. but we are aiming for about well the latest friday 4 34 pm that's okay we'll definitely get there in time if we go back to the here to the gps it shows us the estimated time of arrival so they expect us to be there on thursday at 6 pm so thursday oh good. better watch the road so, yeah we'll be there way earlier we'll be there about 18 hours or so earlier than we need to be so that's all good but we'll be crossing lots of cities as well and our guy will definitely be tired i think i'll let you guys enjoy the ride with me the whole length of the route 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 what the hell is that road and roots mixed together <laughs> but uh i've been just grinding away at this game for such a long time i've got uh, bloodshot eyes i've been playing for so long it's probably not the healthiest thing for my eyes i probably need to invest in, in some gunner optics or something because my eyes are really bloodshot just from playing this game for a long long time but i've been having a lot of fun as well because this is a, just a type of game that i love just to sit back and relax you don't really have many stresses you can uh, just do whatever the hell you want. And the game looks amazing as well. You have lots of different cameras as well. Pretty much exactly the same as Scania. And we've got the cinematic one, which is also nice. But it's best to go into first person mode, feel like a real truck driver. Unfortunately, I'm using the keyboard and mouse. So don't flame on me too much. Let's go ahead and overtake these guys. Thankfully, we've got broken lines, so we can. So it's at least legal. Oh, there's a truck coming on. What am I gonna do? Oh, uh oh, uh oh, this isn't gonna end well. That was a bit better than expected. <laughs> I thought that was gonna end quite poorly. Also, we can get our truck damaged. Ooh, we've got some nice vineyard. No, maybe not vineyards, but a nice little farm. All right, we've got broken. Well, we've got continuous lines, so that means we have to drive on the right side of the road. Otherwise, we will get fined. So, uh, how we cross the channel as well between England and France, or Netherlands, I'm not exactly sure how all that works, but we go through a ferry. We go onto a ferry, and then that's all done automatically for us. We don't need to drive underneath some tunnels or anything like that. It just teleports us automatically. We need to pay a fee of about a thousand dollars. Thankfully, we've got seventy-seven thousand dollars, so that's not going to be too much of a worry. But anyway, off we go driving, looking at the scenery. There's also a nice radio feature, which unfortunately I don't have anything on here because I don't. Know, I'd probably have commercial music on there, and I wouldn't want to be listening to that uh, on a YouTube video because that would get copyright struck which is no fun of course there's a petrol station um, thankfully we've got lots of petrol though and once you do these these hide missions where everything else is supplied to you let's go ahead and overtake these guys oh do, do, do. yeah that's the problem when i drive i just get impatient want to overtake everyone <laughs> happens i'm one of those guys that you see on uh russian in Russian trucks on in like live leak videos I better just go stay behind you especially on this corner because there was a car there we go it even stopped for us oh, there's another car over there oh, let's just wait it out All right, now we can go ahead and overtake oh there's another car unless it's over no is it coming no it's overtaking oh no it's even on the other okay. forget I said anything the car ahead looked like it was on the other side of the road. I thought it was overtaking or something, but it was just this little curve that fooled me. 
but this game is very much alive it's not like very uh it's not very static -y, if you understand what i mean like there's it's very livable it's a living city is what i want to get at or a living continent because it's all of europe but you have trains you need to stop the trains you need to wait there's airplanes flying in and out there's um i think there's pedestrians i can't remember i think there was a graphical options for pedestrians and i am playing this on ultra 1080p i'll probably upload it in 1080p as well so you guys can enjoy this game because it really needs to be understood just how epic this game is i'm over take unfortunately but yeah we're riding around in the english countryside so that's why it's so boring let's go ahead and just ride on this side of the road not very realistic but i'm sure you guys will understand why i'm doing it and that so because we have such a wide load it's so different to driving we are so close to all the different parts it's not the best they all slow down for us as well all close calls oh also i have been forgetting to use my indicators but you don't really get punished for not using them So if you want to ride like a, a real truck driver, you're more than happy to in this game. You, you do have to stop for traffic lights. Most of the time you do get punished for them. Uh, you do have to obey the speed limits when there are speed cameras. It's not really all the time. And the speed cameras are pretty much just in urbanized areas. Like, well, it says there's a speed camera over here. So we need to drive about 50 kilometers an hour. So let's just slow down to that speed roughly that speed okay so there's a camera here on the left this thing let's just cruise control at 50 and there it is right at there and there sure well there probably is one on the other side if you can spot it um, I can't say anything no whatever there's a sign for it, like in front. There's no doubt that's going to be a sign for the speed camera. Let's just see if we can go into this. Oh, God. Yep, that's a speed camera sign. All right, anyway, back we go. 6.44. And uh, another nice feature is that I've noticed is when you're right up north, up at uh, Aberdeen, the sun doesn't set till heaps late heaps late like i'm talking about 10 pm so i'm guessing that's pretty realistic and when you're down south it sets a lot earlier so that's a really uh quite nice uh one thing uh, another thing that i've noticed is that the moon however is always at full moon there's no different stage of the moon it's just always full moon oh, which is okay but let us marvel at this pressurized tank this massively wide load. I still have a long, long time to get to the other side, so I'm not exactly sure how long this will be. Probably be about an hour, to be honest. What I could do also is, once we hit 90 kilometers an hour, there we go, set it onto cruise control, and just chill back, we can well, we don't have to press any buttons now, just just to turn, which isn't too bad. And I guess we want to go to Southampton. Oh god! Oh 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 oh! That's not good. We caused a crash. Oh well. Let's see this camera. Oh, we can't see that car anymore. Oh well. Ah, oh, two to loot to them. going straight forward over here there's a car that's going to be trying to overtake us there we go it's done so successfully thankfully but that cost us a fair amount i'm not exactly sure how much now let's go to the map and as you can see yeah actually to be honest i don't think i'll be able to cover all of this in this video but that's how we started off pretty much over here somewhere and it's taken us about 15 or so minutes to get over to southampton so <laughs> That's just how long this game actually does last. It's so worth the 30 or so dollars that it costs. 30 Australian dollars that it costs. So I'd really, really recommend it to anyone. If you're at any, anyhow deliberating it, 
in your own mind, download the demo. The demo is also very, very good if you're interested in it whatsoever. Damn, the cars go so close to us. It was, they take up pretty much the whole lane with this massive trailer. Okay, so we'll keep on going forward. So I guess now we're going to Dover. I think Dover is where the port is actually. I'm pretty sure that's where it is. So that's not going to be too bad. Just follow the symbols on the sideways. But I'm sure our truck driver will also be getting tired quite soon. Move my mouse a little bit. So then the screen will be uh, turning slightly black. Like it happens for about 20 or so seconds every, I don't know, five or so minutes once your guy gets tired. And then I'm not exactly sure what happens. Maybe he just goes to sleep. Um, like ab he absolutely goes to sleep or maybe he just drifts in and out of sleep. I'm not exactly sure how that works. I'd be interested to see, but I don't, don't really want to test it out. Here we go, everyone's trying to merge. Oh, 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 car was wanting to overtake. Let's go over here, there we go. Let's go on the fast lane, which is quite funny as our car, wow, that's gonna be real tight. And actually the car stopped, from the other tracks stopped for us because we were driving around like reckless bastards. Actually, we can drive out here, have a look at the scenery a little bit longer. Don't try to merge just yet, bastard. Thank you. Sometimes the AI is a bit idiotic sometimes. It just wants to merge immediately, so then you end up crashing. They underestimate your speed, and then you just go struggling into the backsides of them, and then your car gets damaged, and you have to pay for the repairs, and you get a fine as well. Uh, that's no fun. Also, this game does slightly suffer from the moon riding vehicles as in like the vehicles don't sometimes i've only noticed this a couple of times but sometimes it's like the cars aren't actually driving on the road they're just moon walking almost if that makes any kind of sense like they're hovering above the ground this is what i'm trying to get at but most of the time it actually works out perfectly Isn't that a nice car? He went into the uh, overtaking lane and then he goes back into the normal lane. Because in England, you drive like normal people. But in the rest of Europe, you don't drive like normal people. And it's damn confusing. Because like in other parts of the... In Europe, you have to drive on the other side of the road. And in this game, uh, the same happens. So you need to like remember that. And you need to look closely if you change countries. Especially once you get off the, um, the ship to cross the channel, English Channel to France. So I'm pretty sure they drive on the other side of the road in this game and in real life. Uh, it does get confusing, so I have to quickly like check so you know that you're not gonna crash or get a fine or anything like that. And there we go, our petrol has also gone down to two bars, meaning that we will like, we will have to definitely refuel sometime during this mission. Thankfully, in these hired missions, our employer pays for everything, so that's all good. Apart from the fines, we pay for the fines, but the employer pays for the petrol. And we've still got a lot of time, I guess, don't we? Let's go... Uh, by Friday, okay. So we still have more, we've got about 25 and a bit hours until we actually have to deliver it. Or at least the beginning, like expected time is. We can of course deliver it earlier, which I'm pretty sure we get a bonus for. This is a nice tunnel, we've got speed camera. Oh, 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 it's right over here. Slow right down, there we go. 46 kilometers an hour, if it will be. This is a damn nice tunnel though. Jeez, that is the biggest faggotron of a horn I've ever heard. 
Anyway, I think we've escaped the speed camera, so off we go again. And we should check up on when the estimated time of delivery is. Thursday? Okay, so in about... Hmm, 12 or so hours. A little bit less. So there's a fair amount of driving that we've got to do. As long as we do it with minimal fines. There's also rain, so you have your uh, wipers that you have to activate in the rain. It looks very, very nice in the rain. They've really outdone themselves in terms of just the graphics of this game. It looks amazing and how smooth it runs. I'm recording this at 30 frames and usually recording games like this, it might start to lag up my computer a bit, but we're not once have I noticed lag. It's always at a smooth 29.95 frames a second or 97 frames a second is what I've set it on, so 30 frames. It's pretty much perfect. I really can't complain. Let's go back to cruise control. So uh, what else I could do is go ahead and uh, check out over here. So let's go to company manager. This is something that I haven't really used. Uh, let's go to the garage manager. We have a garage in London. You get to choose the city that you start off at and you can go ahead and start upgrading your garage. We'll probably go ahead and do that in another episode and not this one. It's, yeah. Uh, also, we can upgrade our vehicle, the one that we own, not the one that we're currently driving. Uh, we can get some like front wheels, dark silver or a light bar out front and uh, we only own the DAV. Um, then we can go to, let's go back out of here. That's pretty much it that uh, I can really talk about so far that I've really liked about the game. Like there's a bank which you can take out a loan so you can go ahead and buy something right away which is quite useful if you want to but I like doing just the higher missions like the one that I'm currently doing they seem to be pretty easy no fusses but now it's just pretty much waiting game you do have to pay a bit of attention but of course you can set music in the background and just relax playing oh god we've got to merge left and this isn't going to end well oh thankfully that truck waited for us well that's lucky Okay, they want us to go 60 kilometers an hour. Really? Why is that? What the hell is that? Is that some waterfall over there? No, it's some mountains. All oh, right, we're close to the ocean. We might, yes, we are right, oh, okay. let's zoom out. We are right on the coast of England. Nice. And we are almost where we need to be. Very nice, all right. Well, we, where we need to be to, yes, this is France. What the hell is this? This isn't Calais exactly sure where this is because there's Calais port so from Dover to Calais is uh, a port but I'm not exactly I've never been on this thing what the hell is that like oh it's a tunnel all oh, right oh wow that's cool so I've never I've learned something just then because most of these times you have to go over a wharf like a go to a port and then there's gonna be a ship that carries you over but now we go I don't think we'll be going through the tunnel, maybe. I think we just teleport through it. But that's nice. Wow, that's really handy. And as you can see, there's some farms. Farming simulator style. With uh, active vehicles. As you can see, that was harvesting the wheat. There's, I've seen logging um, farms with um, cranes moving about, moving the logs about, which is really nice. So this game is a living environments it's really really cool it's not just static pictures just looking nice it's really really realistic it's a damn nice road as well I really like this area it's nice and forest what the hell is this guy doing he's riding over continuous lanes trying to overtake us just honk on him <laughs> we could have chosen a more more of a demeaning horn than that what the hell is with that? That's funny stuff. Alrighty, so we can get some petrol here. Um, hmm. What what I'll do is I'll probably wait until we go through to here or 
Lil maybe, or even OB3 to here. I think, yeah, we'll definitely have enough petrol to last us until A7. The road A7, so that would be nice. So let's just keep driving. Got some other services, yes. Oh, we've got some nice sunflowers that have populated this whole area. There's so many little details that go such a long way, like uh, just from the signs, I'm pretty sure the signs are and the road names are realistic to the place where we are. Okay, we need to start thinking about uh, going to the tunnel. Okay, they said channel tunnel there. I get the, the GPS is telling me to keep on going here. Yeah, channel tunnel over here. So let's do that. And there we go. Okay. And then what? I've never done anything like this. Oh, wow. That is cool. You got trains here. Now, where exactly do cars go? Aha, uh -huh, this is open for us, okay. So I guess we get loaded up on the train or what? It seems like we do. Aha, uh -huh, there's a spot for us, I see. Oh wow, this is interesting. Okay. So we stop over here and to view possible destinations, press enter, enter. And we want to go to Calais. Okay. Oh, it's a lot less as well to travel through the tunnel. $300. There we go with a nice little image of us going through onto the train, through the tunnel and into Calais. Alrighty. No. Which way shall we go? Let's chuck a right. That is so sweet. Wow. That's very, very impressive. It doesn't seem like these trucks are actually clamped down like with anything, but okay. I'll take it for what it is. Let's give a goodbye honk. And off we go, chuck a left. All right, sorry. Hopefully no one's coming up through the left. I don't think they are. Oh, chuck another right. Yeah, let's go outside and have a look at this. Maybe I could, uh, no, I wouldn't have been able to actually turn around with her, would I? I would have fallen into the train tracks. Alright, let's slow down a little bit because we need to chuck a left and there's cars coming through here. See, now in France they drive on the right, which is just that much more confusing because we were just driving on the left in England. But we'll do. Alright, now. Gotta go to through Calais, Paris. Or at least that's the direction we want to go through. You better watch out, car, because we are gonna hit you. Yep, we hit you. Thankfully, we're not getting punished for it. Although you're slowing us down. <laughs> that's not that car's fault. I don't really care. All right. Now this is really difficult because we are a wide load after all. Let's just take it wide. And then That should work. Oh, we seem to have done that rather unscathed. Nice, I can't complain. Just gotta watch out on the speed though. Don't want to be going too fast, but it seems like we've gotten out rather smooth. Pick up a bit of speed off the off ramp so we can join back. Screw that card over that's behind us. Oh, oh, oh. Better go first person.
wondering if uh, rain will affect us during this mission. We've still got 458 kilometers left. Oh man, it's gonna last us a long, long time this mission. Half an hour through this episode. And they've given us the liberty to go at 90 kilometers an hour. How very nice of them. We're gonna be overtaking this guy soon. Very soon. I'm gonna make sure I don't hit him. Okay, now, I think the A616 might be Autobahn 16, maybe. Hopefully, I'm correct. If it's not, whatever. Uh, let's zoom out to see where we are. All right, so Calais was there. We're on our way to Lille. We still have two bars of petrol. Unfortunately, it doesn't really show us how many liters we have. Um, although if I press I, here we have 241 liters, it says, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's or 24 litres. No, I don't think it's 24 litres. I think it might be 241 litres of petrol if you are looking in between the wheel. Showing us both the temperature and uh, I'd assume the amount of petrol that we've got. Although that's not going down and I don't know, actually I think that's, yeah. It shows us how many kilometres we've got left. So we've got 479 now. 479, yep. I think that's how it works. I've really got no idea actually. But anyway, let's just continue to drive. Try not to go too fast and not crash into too many things. Guys are going off that off ramp. Let's zoom back in onto our GPS. We're chucking a left. We'll be going through Lil soon. Maybe not exactly through Lil, but around it. Cutting the journey short. Yeah, I like to drive like a lunatic if you haven't noticed either. Especially like driving in the middle of the road is actually quite beneficial to us because that means that none of the AI drivers will go ahead and overtake us, which is handy because then it stops the chances of them crashing into you, which is of course something that we don't want. Oh good, what the hell have I been doing? Also, every city has like that has a landmark that is noticeable. It will most likely be in this game, like the like London has. Um, the Bank of London or the City of London is what you call it and then you've got all your what the hell is that symbol supposed to be or hearing was supposed to be here it was like motorbike or something but yeah there's lots of recognizable landmarks in this game which is very very nice it just adds that little bit extra to the game you can really tell that SCS have really gone out of the way to show how beautiful the game is Anyway, as we continue to drive, we've got five hours now of estimated time left in this uh, game. Just keep driving forward. Okay, I want us to slow down to 70, but I'm not going to slow down unless there's going to be a speed camera. Oh, well, now we can go back to 110. What the hell was that for? Oh, all right. Loan installments in total of 2887 were paid. Yes, I did take out a loan for $100,000 and we only needed to pay $2,887 as we just did then each day. So that's nothing. Like this mission is takes about a day, like a day and a half gameplay. And we're going to be making about 20 grand. So it's two, two grand a day is nothing in this game. So there's nothing to worry about. And especially once we get a lot further in, we can hire drivers and then they'll be like, we create our own company. 
and then we'll be able to hire drivers we'll do another episode or video of that later that's quite nice as well I'm really loving just driving just like really quickly from point A to point B just on the autobahn but this is when we I guess we've got to slow down especially with such a wide load they want us to be going 40 kilometers an hour I think that's a good idea just, just to at least slow down we still need some pace though to get up this on ramp But we're on. And it's another highway, so that should be all good. Now we're on to A2, and I'm pretty sure now just pretty much straightforward. So we'll go through Liege. Okay. So at least it's all highways. I wonder what the hell that green thing was. We just passed, whatever. There's a bit of popping, but the only popping that I've noticed are not the landscape objects, it's just uh, trucks. Trucks I've noticed are popping. That's about it, really. The landscape you can see for miles and miles and miles. Uh, another thing that might be popping in is the landscape from the back, like uh, once we get past everything. And here we go, Is here is the French-Belgian board border, right over here. In some places, like it's a bit more obvious when there is a uh, border crossing, but I guess the French and Belgians just uh, really like each other. They don't really have a problem with uh, passports or whatever. They can just cross right through. Sometimes, like you can, between I think it was the Polish and German border, there's a lot more, um, like it's a lot more obvious that it's a border crossing. Even though those flags are there in all, but still. Uh, okay, we're down to one bar of petrol. Uh, let's just check the map. Oh, yeah, we're exactly where I said I was wanted to get petrol. Nice. Alrighty. We're getting petrol here then. And it probably would be a good idea to get some sleep here, but I'm not going to get some sleep. I'm just going to wait until my guy starts getting tired. Actually, you know what? Uh, one thing that I have like a pro another problem <laughs> that I have with the game that they could improve is just there's no there doesn't seem to be any fatigue we need to um, turn our engine off and then press enter yeah there doesn't seem to be any fatigue bar to tell us how much we are fatigued like to give us an indication of when we should go to sleep like it just we just go blank and then it just says all right go to sleep now, that should be more than enough petrol Five bars definitely should be more than enough. Now, yes, your fuel expenses are covered by your employer. And all we have to do, I'm pretty sure, is just... Well, I know this is for cars, but... No, you're not going to let... Fine. Be a bastard. I don't exactly want to park over there, because I'm going to be struggling to get out of there. So, let's... How about, if, what if we go to sleep here? take up a spot here like that guy are you gonna let me go to sleep come on are you going to get yes you are all right so we turn our engine off press enter to rest okay and now it's back to night time but we are fully rested we've got a now I don't want to do that anymore we've already gone to sleep we're all good. So it's back to turning our light on. Actually, we did have a light on. That's interesting. But off we go. 290 kilometers left, which is nothing. Wow, this is actually going pretty quick. It's going to take a damn long time to render out and upload, but hopefully it will be uh, very good for all you Euro Simulator 2 fetishists that are still watching. Not exactly sure how entertaining this might be watching someone else drive across Europe, but. You know, I'm getting a mission done, so I'm not complaining. And anyone that might have an interest in might be... Well, I'm sure you guys would have watched the intro, but... The truly hardcore fans would be still watching now. Rotterdam and Brussels. We don't want to go to Rotterdam. 
what the hell did I just press? What the hell did I just do? Not exactly sure, but we are supposed to go off this off ramp. Did I say Luxembourg? <laughs> Good old Luxembourg. Got the second seat of the uh, on the UN Security Council. Where Finland and Luxembourg are a bunch of cocky little shits. And they thought Australia wouldn't get it. Proved you bastards wrong, didn't we? Finland were extremely cocky about the United Nations Security Council seat. The temporary seat. They thought they were the shoe in And they didn't even get the seat. Any seat. And Australia got it in the first round with I think it was 149 votes. Out of 196 and they needed the two thirds majority of about 129. I think it was. Australia did proud. Did us good. So now we're in the 2013, 2014. We are going to be on the United Nations Security Council. Which is very, very nice for Australia. Can't complain. Oh yes, and uh, I've just noticed in the uh, mirrors, uh, those little black things, there's sometimes black things that you might notice in this sky, they are supposed to be birds. They don't really look like birds. Uh, here, here we go, there's some more up here. If you just look up. Yeah, they're supposed to be birds. They don't really look like birds. They're just static pictures just moving about. Okay, there's some roadworks here. So, usually in roadwork, oh wow. They made these lanes extremely small. Oh, there's a plane going down. Wow, that's, that plane is actually going down quite steep as well. Yeah, usually in roadworks there's a uh, uh, speed camera. Thankfully there wasn't this time. And whatever city we're going into now, they seem to have a rather large airport. It must have been Liege. The city, so Liege sounds like a French city. So I'm guessing we're still in France. But we'll be going to Germany soon, because that is, after all, where we do want to go. Still got 220 kilometers left. Well, it's a lot better than it was at uh, Plymouth. It was about 800 or so. So I guess we might get this in under an hour. Very nice. So yeah, it gives you a good idea of just how large this game really is. It's taking us so long just to get from point A to point B. Um, but I have invested in the skill of like larger missions, longer missions. So uh, that's why like we have the such large missions. They do pay really, really well though. It's like I think it's better to do one larger mission than to do two. You know, like medium-sized ones. I think the pay, like, it's just so much quicker. I think like uh, money per minute, like dollar per minute. I think it's better to, to do large missions because then you have to like waste your time. Like, do it there. Anyway, there's another plane. I think it's taking off this time. So I don't think you guys will be able to see. It's very hard to, even for me to see. Oh, we can turn our floodlights on. As well, it's always fun to doing it in oncoming traffic. It's quite amusing, although they don't really react to it. It would be nice if we could like cause crashes with it, <laughs> bringing out the rebel in me. Okay, so we sh should be going around Liege probably right about now. Let's just go ahead and read these signs. Colin Dusseldorf, yes. Oh, and Liege to the right, so there's going to be an off ramp to go to Liege. So I guess they're going to go under the autobahn. Any minute now, and then we'll just keep on going through Dusseldorf and Colm. Okay, so Liege is to our left. There we go, there it is. But off we go. Still continue on, on our nighttime journey. Okay, so ETA is in, well, Friday 2 a.m. around about. And we are expected about 10 a.m. Like that's the earliest they expect us, so we're gonna be perfectly on time. I'm not gonna be complaining at all. We should be able to get a good bonus. I don't think this truck is damaged at all. Let's go, oh, actually it is, wow. 11% damage, really? I must have damaged like, as soon as I got out of Plymouth. Oh well. 
maybe we damage it. No, we did damage it in this episode. I got a short memory. Probably because I haven't been sleeping enough. Because we've had daylight saving in Australia not too long ago, and my sleeping search schedule is still all screwed up. There's some more resting stations here. There's lots of lights here, so there might be a speed camera. No. It's just a rest station and some uh, petrol and all that good stuff. Okay, there was a sign that tells us like in Dusseldorf um, like the speed to go at. So we've got 120 kilometers left. Uh, we've got Köln and then Dusseldorf is next. Okay. Wow. We've gone quite a distance. Right. Nothing to it but to do it, so let's keep on doing it. We'll actually go into, into this mode so we can have a nice look at the stars. Have a look at what's behind us. Such an amazing game. Like, it's, I'm really happy they took the time uh, to actually improve the game and make it the best that it could possibly be because uh, from memory, this game was supposed to come out a fair bit earlier, like in September or so. But they kept on delaying it just because they weren't ready. And they literally only just finished this game like a month ago. Like coding it. Like most games they finish, I don't know, I'd say about a month, or, not a month, <laughs> like a good three or four months like before release. And then they like mass market it and they, uh, they might, like they pretty much got everything ready then. This game was like, pushing it to the metal in terms of uh, release date timing and that stuff and of course SES really do like care about the customer and they patch these games extremely quickly and very very well I'm really happy with just SES in general they're such an amazing company and they've created like games that I remember from my childhood and we're on a bridge usually on bridges that there are speed cameras which I'm not happy about so let's go ahead and go into floodlight mode no I can't say anything I think we made that rather unscathed okay we're back down to the final 70 kilometers oh, very nice we are very very close all right so the off ramp to Colm so it should be very soon and then next stop Dusseldorf but I guess the trip or road to Dusseldorf will be a little bit slower as well oh, can't pass on our left uh, and I say that just because Dusseldorf um, like the road to it probably will be bit more condensed because we'll have to go off the autobahn or whatever this motorway is called all right so no we don't want to go to Mannheim or whatever it's called but we do want to chuck a right or at least that's what the game wants me to do all right they want me to go on this off ramp to Mannheim which I can do Just take it a little bit slow and we're going to chuck a left. Ah, oh, it's a column, really? I'm sure we could have chosen a different route, but this route seems nice. Through the pine roads. I'm not going to be complaining. I love how you, like, you can spot so much extra with the floodlights. It's so realistic. It's so well done. The other guys usually flash their lights, yeah, they flash their lights at you just to, I don't know, probably to tell you that you got your floodlights on. Let's go back to the map. We'll zoom it all the way in here. Yeah, I guess that was the way to go. See, this isn't like the main road, so as you can see, it's a little bit thinner. We've got the same rest stop and a uh, petrol station. And after that, off we go. Very nice. Oh so oh god oh god oh god 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 no are we gonna get punished for no I was I was mesmerized by that uh so this is Colm there's some um we be paying more attention to the road but there's a skyscraper over there it looks really good 
was quite impressed. No, can't see it anymore. Oh God. That's not good. I don't think that did any damage to us. Oh, what the hell is happening? Bit of a lag spike or whatever. Which usually happens when you record in fraps sometimes, especially when you record like really long videos. And yeah, if I, I'm gonna render this out in uh, 1080p, I think. So I definitely deserve a, a lot of likes if you're still watching it, which I doubt many of you are. <laughs> but it'll be fun nonetheless. Alrighty, so we're nearly there. 24 kilometers left. Oh, there seems to be like a little spike, a needle thing, like a building. So that might be another church there as well, like that big building. Okay, because we can see Dusseldorf now. If there's any Dusseldorfians there, then I'm sure you guys would uh, would be able to tell me what these buildings are. Seems like, yeah, it seems like it's a needle type of building. Very nice. And as I was talking about the uh, full moon, it's another full moon today, so... Yeah, that's something that I wish they could improve. I wish like every day would have changed like in order of the cycle of the moon. Oh, we could overtake these guys. I think there's another car coming up. Yeah, okay. Dusseldorf discovered. So we're nearly there. Very impressed that we have made it so far. Let's start slowing a lot down. There'll be maybe some speed cameras as well. So we have delivered this so much quicker than it we had previously expected. About eight, yeah, about eight hours ahead of schedule. Okay, so these guys are gonna be happy. There's some traffic lights, it seems like. Everyone is slowing down. Oh no, no traffic lights, just give way signs. Okay, and here is the place that we're going to, FCP. Turn that indicators on. The barrier is open for us. Oh God, this is one of these things. Oh god. No! No. Oh. That was sketchy. Alright, so this is like a uh, place where they try to challenge us. Like, it's not out in the open, it's uh, all blocked off. Alright, no one's to park over here. Actually, that shouldn't be too hard to do. Nice. Alright. So we have to reverse. And I suck at reversing, believe me. Uh, what we could have done as well is we could have um, uh, we could have just pressed enter and like you get the same amount of points but you get extra points for doing the parking manually so that's what we did then we'll get some extra points good work it wasn't excellent it was good work but still nonetheless we got 20 grand we got a lot of XP a lot of XP we've gone up to enthusiast level so that's pretty much it and we have a well, we've leveled up so we can choose some extra points let's go into long distance go ahead and apply that i'm just spamming the long distance but whatever i don't really mind the long distance missions uh, and so that's pretty much it now we can go ahead or oh, this is our where the hell are we right now 
I think we're somewhere in somewhere in England. We're in Aberdeen, right? This is my vehicle. Okay. So yeah, we can go ahead and go to the freight market where we will need to drive to um, a place. I think we only have Aberdeen available right now because that's where we are. Which sucks. Wait. What if I do it through the escape menu? This should work a little better. There we go. Through here they show you everything, not just Aberdeen. So we could go from Liverpool to Luxembourg. You get 32 grand, it's going to be a special mission. More pressure tanks, you get some diggers, so furic acid, all that stuff. So that's, oh, we also get some new upgrades available. Oh, we get some uh, new paint jobs, a new cabin. We'll leave things as they are right now. But I'm really happy with the way we're going. How much money do we have as well? Excuse me, we've got 95, euro, 95 grand euro. And with that being said, that's going to be it to Euro Truck Driving Simulator 2, the first episode, a very lengthy one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you later.